What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Auto Crater, entitled The Obedience to Authority. This is released on Cruciator Productions, Gods of War Productions. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Paris, France, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very cold, militant, drone and industrial tin style of death metal. Uh, yeah. There were a lot of breakout bands for me in the calendar year of 2015. Bands like Piss Grave, Blood Incantation, Tetragrammicide. But one band in particular really struck my ears and my eyes with what they had to come out with. So much so that they landed in... They... They, they made that much of a difference in my top 10 list of last year with their self-titled debut full length. I mean, listening to this album is the sonic equivalent of having 10 or 11 steel chair shots crack your skull open. It's like getting a sledgehammer blow straight to your solar plexus. I mean, I feel like I'm using pro wrestling terminology here, but honestly, that's what it feels like when you listen to a band like Auto Crater. It's just so stunningly heavy. The riff work, the vocals, the distortion, the industrial and drone elements. I mean, it really feels as if you're listening to the death metal equivalent of Godflesh. And with the self-titled album from Auto Crater, we got all of those elements and a great deal more. I mean, just the Roman Empire sort of concepts and themes behind that record, and just the overall imagery, presentation, soundscapes, it really was an incredible debut. And I'm really... I really, really wish more people would pay attention to a band like this, because they are a band that deserve your time and attention. Now, it, after listening to this album, and of course later on getting the CD version, I was wondering what the next step for a band like uh, Auto Crater was going to be. And lo and behold, we have a brand new album from them in the form of The Obedience to Authority. It's eight tracks, and it clocks in at around 36 minutes in length, and this is a completely different record this time around. Instead of song names, it's pretty much built up into chapters. Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, through chapter 8, so to speak. No song titles, just chapters. And the concept of the record is a completely different sort of beast. No Roman themes to be found this time around, but there's more of an instances... There's more of an instance of brainwashing, the feeling of being controlled, manipulated, brainwashed, an almost authoritarian sort of approach going here with this record. And I honestly think, after listening to this album multiple times, I feel they ratcheted up the intensity a great deal more. And there also seems to be a less is more approach for this record in comparison to the self-titled because pretty much there's only one person behind the musicianship and instrumentation throughout this record uh, i believe lf he is pretty much the heartbeat and soul of this pr of this band pretty much doing the instrumentation the vocal the drumming, the, the soundscapes, it's just really a devastating blow-by-blow blow sort of tactic this guy has. And when it comes to the music, it is just full-out intense all the way throughout. The riff work here is a lot more venomous and a lot more angrier this time around. You can definitely hear that on the first couple of tracks, notably Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. I mean, I pretty much consider Chapter 1 to be obedience, because that's... You can tell what a song has a feeling for it once you listen to the... once you read along with the lyrics and go about with how the things are structured. But... Going back to the music, it's just full-out intensity all the way throughout. The riff work is just very ugly-sounding. There's a, there's a dark 
cold ugliness with these guitar riffs, and they are the main story throughout this entire record. They hold things together, the bottom end works out nice too, there's a good bass tone to be heard throughout this entire record, but this is a more guitar riff orientated sort of album, especially towards the later half of the records where you, where you begin to get that almost dark industrial sort of edge going for it, almost verging on a power electronic sort of vibe going on. I'll get some more of those instances in a minute, but the guitar and bass work here is very stunning. The drum work seems to be a little faster this time around. I can't tell if the drums on this release are programmed or not, but this this album does really feel like a blast fest. There is a high emphasis on fills, rolls, and blast beats, but I honestly think that the intensity of the drum work fits the concept of this new Auto Crater record, and it is just intense. And it, it once again, going to this band's drone and industrial elements, they show up in, in lots of loads here, and it does have a significant sort of effect on the drumming style of this record, which I think makes for something completely entertaining. Of course, the drum performance on the first album is something I'll never forget. I love the snare on on the first record. I love the the blasting on the first record. And on this album, you get that bit too. But there seems to be more of an electronic presence going on here, which I can understand from this album's sort of concept and, 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 and flow. And I like it. I like what they're going for with the, the drum style here on this release. And of course, once again, the electronic elements are showing up in, 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 in a lot of instances here, like the two instrumental tracks on here, Chapter 3 and Chapter 6, respectively. I love the electronic instrumentation going on here with, um, with those songs. It adds that almost bleak and evil sort of element going for Auto Crater, and I love what they do with the, the, with the, with the electronic elements of this record, especially towards the very last song on this record, which feels very ominous and extremely dark. I love how evil and dark that last track is. It's probably the best song on the record, and I'll explain that in just a second, but moving on to the vocals, I love the Autocrater vocal style. It is very upfront, it is very abrasive, very well worded, very rough, very guttural. You can understand what this guy's talking about, but just his delivery, he just sounds heartless. A full intent on wanting to make you realize that you're going to be controlled, you're going to be brainwashed, you're going to be dis you're going to be the puppet, so to speak. And that's the type of vibe you get with his vocal style. There's a little bit of an element of where his vocals begin to rise and get higher in certain elements, but he maintains that almost dark edge in his vocal style. Going once again back to track 8, chapter 8. I love the concept of that song. It feels like interrogation. I like the fact that he asks all these questions and then all these answers get shouted out in just this strained, uh, man maniacal sort of element. Like, pretty much, you will talk. No! I love that song so much. I love the concept, I love the theme of it, and I think it's fucking brilliant. And as for the rest of the songs throughout this record, once again going back to the theme of this record, authoritarianism, tyrannical ideas, brainwashing, it's all done here perfectly. I love the lyrics, I love the concept for, for this album. So overall, I don't know if I like this album more than I do the self-titled, but I think it has the same thing that the first album had, and that is a load of intensity. Uh, it'll strike fear into your heart, but yet it'll strike fear with a sense of just pummeling you with extreme heaviness. This is extreme metal to a, a letter T, and with the obedience to authority, I think Auto Crater deliver another really sensational album in their books. I can't wait to hear what this band does next, and hopefully the next steps they take will be even darker ones. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you a link in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will link you to the Auto Crater Bandcamp page where you can stream this album in its entirety. Hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worth it being purchased or not. You can buy it digitally, you can stream it. I believe it is a name your price download. You can download it for free, or you can donate a little something to the band, which is what I would recommend doing. 
doing is giving your hard-earned money to support this band's cause. And this is currently available on a Digipack CD. This is a very nice matte finish on the Digipack. You have the back here. It's a six-panel Digipack. I really love the artwork that they're going for with a release like these. Of course, these are the two band members that are involved with in this project. I mean, we know who they are, but really we there there's a somewhat shroud of secrecy behind them. But of course, on this other side, you have lyrics. You have the CD itself, and I like this little uh, piece of photography here for the for the middle of the CD tray. It's fucking incredible. But um, I can't recommend this album enough. So let me show you the album again. This is uh, The Obedience to Authority by Autocrater. This is released on Cruciator Productions, Gods of War Productions. Uh, buy this, and for a score, I'm going to give this a very, very strong 9 out of 10. Sensational death metal. Just unbelievably crushing. I mean, this will break your ribs without even having to try to break your ribs. That's how heavy I feel it is. So, if you haven't heard this album, let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it and how you feel it compares to the previous Auto Crater record. Have any of you guys heard Auto Crater or any of y'all into them? Let me know what you think. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Army Ho out.